now powerless. It is now you can go for deliverance and that deliverance shall be permanent. It is now in fact you can deliver yourself because you will quote who you are to him. And when Satan knows you have, you know your right, he's careful around you. That's why he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. What is the difference? Why is it that if you want to do anything with somebody, you will go and hire a lawyer? There is something that lawyer knows that he enforces. You have a lawyer so that he can advocate for you. We too, we have a spiritual lawyer. The Bible says Jesus Christ is our advocate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we're here to pray. And that's why we pray in our homes. That's why every Christian must have a, you know, deliberately designed prayer program for yourself. Where you do some cleansing around you. That's why every true living church must not make prayer secondary. Prayer must be among the primary things you do in that church. Every believer, you don't pray, Satan will finish you. The weapon he gave us is prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is enforcing your rights. Hallelujah. 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 This is my own serious. Take time we don't open our liver. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, church. His power is broken. When you enter that water and you come out. And Satan knows that his power is broken. Therefore, even this simple process of justification, three works of grace, justification, sanctification, and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Satan knows what it means. He has messed it up. So that he will make us do it wrongly. And if you do, see, doctor give you medicine as a prescription for a problem to go. If you don't take it according to the prescription of the doctor, you will never get your healing. It's true. Hallelujah. For your sins to be remitted so that the accuser of the brethren will not have anything to do with you, is number one, repent. Number two, enter that water. There is, hallelujah, wrong baptism, and there is correct baptism. Infant baptism will never take the problem away from you, because infant baptism cannot remit your sins. Infant baptism is wrong. Sprinkling of water on somebody is wrong. Hallelujah. It's wrong. Oh. Amen. And those of you who baptize by immersion, you are correct. Water baptism is by immersion. But there is a wrong immersion. Because the Bible says we should go and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. The emphasis is the name. Somebody hear me for the first time. If anybody carry you to, to, to baptismal school, after you spend so many months, you fail, you repeat, you come pass finally. Then he take you, according to Matthew 28, verse 19, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and put you inside water and bring you out. You have not baptized yet in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Listen again. Look at your neighbor. Use your elbow. Wake her up. Don't be afraid. Don't be, just hit him. Hit her. Listen, church. I know many of you, many of you here, you have baptized correctly. Wave your hand. How many of you? I know, I know, I know. Praise God. But even if now one person I'm talking to now, listen. Listen. And those who are possessed with the spirit of religion, as I talk this one and they don't switch off. But then this one they talk. Bible says, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. 
I'm baptized by immersion in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. He said, I'm wrong. He like, said, I come wrong church. Thank God, you can't go back now. 2 a.m. No matter how you vex, you can't go. You go out there, whole pieces, waiting outside. <laughs> you are possessed. You don't know it. In some of you to say, hey, what is this man saying? And listen carefully. Because I'm not a reverend doctor. Because I don't, I don't go to Bible school. Eh? Because I'm not answering bishop. Or because I don't get special seats for altar. Eh? You know, some pastors even have microphones and only them they use them. Eh? The altar where nobody they stand there and only them they stand there. Eh? Now that kind of place people like. Amen. But God, in simplicity, they will miss him. Listen, church. The Bible says, go and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Oga? 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 See your eye red. Have you been baptized? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Where? At the pussy. For here? Yes, sir. Okay, continue sleeping. Sleep. He has just correct baptism. Show this one. This this one. <laughs> Have you been baptized? Eh? They don't baptize you. You don't baptize. Talk now. I'm ask, asking you. Have you been baptized? No. Eh? No. No. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Have you been baptized? It's still they sleep, they sleep, they still they catch up. Have you been baptized? No. no. Do you want to be baptized? Yes. Eh? Yes. Do you want to be baptized? Yes. Answer, may they hear you now. Yes. Why do you want to be baptized? Come outside. Come. Come, my friend. Young men like you are walk, walking here. You, you, they sleep. They go around. Anybody you see, they sleep. Wake, wake her up. You hear? Oh, yeah. Start. They go around. Anybody you say sleep, wake her up. See in trousers like antelope. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now you go to church. After something, I said, waiting they preach. <laughs> you say, I don't know. And the man talk where we shall he talk where we I don't know what he talk. <laughs> talk. Amen. Like I said, they force and come here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here? You were baptized like I have just explained. They took you to the water in your church and they put you inside the water in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost and they brought you out and say you have been baptized. Some they even give you certificate, baptismal certificate. Hallelujah. Can you stand up? I want to let you know that it is wrong. One, two sisters, any brother, three brother. Who again? Eh? Ah, give her a microphone, this one. 
Which church were you baptized? Baptist church. Eh? Baptist church. Artist. Baptist people, they baptize wrongly. What of you? Assemblies of God. Ba Assemblies of God, they baptize wrongly. If you are standing up, you are from Assemblies of God. Sit down. They baptize wrongly. Sit down, Assemblies. Assemblies. You uncle? Deeper life. They baptize wrongly in deeper life. Very, very wrong. Sit down. Next person, yes? Winners. Winners. They baptize the same way, wrongly. Uh huh. Catholic. Wrong baptism. Catholic. Yes, where again? Redeemed. Redeemed. They baptize wrongly. Where again? United Church of Christ. If they baptize wrongly, Trinitarians. Uh huh. You go. Christ Apostolic Church. They baptize wrongly, CAC. Those ones, you go. Who again? Who? Christ Who? Embassy. Eh? Christ Embassy. Where, where are you there? Who? Where? Where can I see the way you dress? Eh? Christ Embassy. Why you dress like this? Call here and I saw that you dress for your church. Christ Embassy, they baptize correctly. They baptize correctly. But that's the only thing they do correct in that church. Thank you. So, so you have been correctly baptized. I know the way they baptize. Who again? Four square. Wrong baptism, four square. Seven days Adventist. Is that what Seven days Adventist. Seven day Adventist, wrong baptism. House of the Shepherd. I don't know that one. Where is the house of the sheep? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Listen, I am not here being your church. I'm saying it in a way that will make you listen to me. Eh? Where is that uh, Assemblies of God woman? Assemblies of God. Eh? Give her microphone there. Give her microphone there. Stand there. Answer me. That scripture says, Go ye and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name. Correct? Answer also that they can hear you. Eh? In the name of the Father. No. What? In the name of Jesus Christ. No, you are from Assemblies of God. Yes. Eh? yes. How do you baptize in Assemblies of God? They put you inside the water. Uh -huh. And they said, they would say, we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Then they will lift you up. Then they will bring you out. So yes. that's, that's how they do. Like she's saying, they will, they, will, they will take you inside the water and dip you inside in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost in obedience to Matthew 28, 19. But I'm saying that that scripture, go and baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the emphasis is the name. It simply means the Father has a name. The Son has a name. The Holy Spirit is coming in a name. What is that name, church? Jesus. Therefore, to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, one name, you are to baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because that is the name for redemption. That is the name of the creator of the heavens and the earth for the purpose of redemption. In words or in deed, whatever you do, the Bible in Colossians 3.17 said, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. And every baptism in the Bible, New Testament church, was done in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because that name, Jesus, is the name of the Father, according to the Bible, and of the Son, according to the Bible, and of the Holy Ghost. One name! And why? They refuse to understand that commandment. Because of the doctrine of Trinity. Is there any question? Before we fire on now. Yes? Who? Ask your question. Give her microphone there. We will hear her. Praise 
Praise the Lord. I want to God ask bless a question. You. I was once a member of the Assembly of God. Yes. At Ayogu de there. But they forced us to go when we are a youth to go and do uh, baptism. But in that church, it wasn't a, a, in the river. They pour water like a well. Just more bowl like all this uh, swim, like a children swimming pool. Is it a normal baptism? They, 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 they that water cover you? They, they cover the water. The water did not cover. It's not but it, it plenty. They, 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 they baptize normal backwardness. They put you and the water cover you. Yes. Uh, so put your, dip your face. But it's not uh, like a river. Is it? No. Did the water cover you? Yes. The water covering you, that's the meaning of immersion. Baptizo is the Greek word. The English word is immersion. Is to be immersed. Baptizo. Let the water cover you. I've answered that question before. The process of you being covered by the water is also is speaking of you dying and entering a grave and the grave must cover you. So that is what it means and you can be buried anywhere. It can be in a running river, can be a swimming pool, it can be a bathtub provided the water covers you. That is the important thing. But the name they did it correctly Yes. But they got the wrong name. They could not get the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, that baptism is wrong. Go and re-baptize. Thank you. Who again? Yes? Who is here? Who? Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. if, praise the Lord. Pastor, I want to ask a question. Yes? My question goes like this. this the, you are talking about the dream, eating the dream. But we, we don't say to what about this? No, daddy, please. Okay. When I'm sitting now, they will be feeding me. Eh? My way is not dream. Eh? So that's why I say I want to so ask a question. You, you, you're all serious. <laughs> Even they will be giving me medicine. Eh? Eh? They will be giving me tablets. Sometimes they will be giving me... Uh, eh. Now I say you're all serious. Seriously, you're serious. Uh, don't worry, it will stop. <laughs> you all go stop, don't worry. Whether you they stand or you they sit, you they sleep or you they wake. Eh? For church and they feed you. For here too. Eh? When I'm sitting down here. And you sit down, son. The, the thing will come and be feeding you. Eh, it's like, it's sometimes if I want to close my eyes, they will put chin chin. Sometimes they will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Eh, now your girl, if the thing goes today, next Friday, will you come and testify? Y yes, sir. Eh? What will you do to say, Lord, I thank you? Next Friday. Daddy, I, will, I think I need to use my clothes and roll. On you will place. roll on the ground. Yes, sir. Amen. Okay. Praise God. Okay, I'm waiting for you on Friday. Okay, yes, the brother there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sir, based on the statement you made, God may confuse somewhere. Where you said um, that, um, that you have to be baptized only in the name of the Son. But the Bible said... You I have didn't to say only in the name of the Son. I say in, you have to baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the, Holy, the Ghost. Holy Spirit. Yes. And that statement was made by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Yes. And then, um, uh, there is Trinity in the Godhead. God the Father and God the Son being one. Let me hear you. Right. Yes. So, when you made that statement, I got confused that the name of the Lord, the, that the baptism of the, of, 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 by immersion has to be in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit before one has to be immersed into the water and, broke, and be brought out. Amen. Yeah. You know, you are the one adding something there. The Bible didn't say baptize in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Now you add that God. one. 
I say God the Father, God, God the Father, no, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There's nothing like that in that scripture. He said, baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Baptize in that name. The emphasis is name of the Father. If you are not just reading Bible, but you are studying the Bible, the first question that will come to you is, what is the name of the Father? So that you will use it and baptize. Then you will find out what is the name of the Son. So that you will use it and baptize. Then you will find out what is the name of the Holy Ghost. So that you will use it to baptize. Because he says you should baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And if you study the Bible, you will discover that the name of the Father, he gave it to his Son. And the Holy Ghost is coming in the name of the Son. What is the name of the Son? Jesus. So if you are to baptize in the name of the Son, which name will you use? The name of the, name of the Lord Jesus. So if I say, go and baptize in the name of the Son, if you go to the river to baptize in the name of the Son, which name will you use? I use the name Jesus. You will not go to the river and say, I baptize in the name of the Son. And enter and come out? No, sir. Why? Because yes, you know the name. name of the Son. Yes. It is only the name of the Father you don't know. <laughs> okay, let me help him. Open John chapter 5. If that is the same question, if I answer, I'm just carry your Bible to go back home. Yes? I'm Verse 43. It says, I am calling my father's Who is name. the person speaking? Jesus. Jesus is saying what? Say, read it again. I am come in my father's name. Eh, read again. I am come in my father's name. In which name did he come? In his father's name. What is his name? Jesus. Therefore, what is the father's name? Jesus. If his name is Jesus and he say, I come in my father's name, it simply means his name is the name of the father. And who is his father? Open Matthew chapter 1. Matthew, Matthew chapter 1. Read from verse 18. Now the birth of now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. This is how Jesus Christ was born. Uh -huh. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Yes. Before they came together. She before was, the marriage was contracted, what happened? She was found with a child of the Holy Ghost. He was found with a child of who? Holy Ghost. He was found with a child of who? Holy Ghost. Who is the father of that child? Holy Ghost. Who is that child? Jesus. Who is his father? The Holy Ghost. Go to John chapter 14. John 14, quickly, quickly. Read verse 26. John 14. This is Jesus Christ speaking. Uh -huh. Verse 26. Yes. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father will send in my name. In which name will the Father send the Holy Ghost? Jesus. Eh? In, in which name, name will the Father send the Holy Spirit? In the name of Jesus. So what is the name of the Holy Ghost? Jesus. What is the name of the Son? Jesus. What is the name of the Father? Same name. Clap your hands now. Therefore, go and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Which name will you use to baptize? Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Correct water baptism in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is to baptize in the name of the Lord Jesus. Any other baptism... Go back and rebaptize before it is too late. Yes? Praise the Lord, church. Uh -huh. 
Daddy, please, sir, I want you to throw light in us. If someone finds himself flying in the air, like a group of people is pursuing you, and you find yourself flying in the air, please, I want you to throw light in Amen. Us. Whether you are flying or you are running, Amen. The fact that those pursuing you did not get you, that is the emphasis. It's not how you escape from them that matters. But the important thing is that they did not get you. To escape from danger, God can use any means for your spirit to escape. Include flying, include even swimming across the river. When they are swimming, the same river will swallow all of them. You will swim across. Including running. <laughs> yes? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Although which is the fly, oh? Which is the fly, yo? Oh? <laughs> One comedian say, oh, na fly, na fly. <laughs> we bought the aircraft. He said, we, na which, oh, then they fly. Yes? Um, I believe that uh, infant baptism is wrong. But my question is, uh, at what age will a child be baptized for it to be right? An age where he knows and he can differentiate between good and bad. Where he can know to do good and to do right. Where he can come and confess the Lord Jesus Christ as his Lord and personal Savior. Not because you force him to but because he believes and is convinced that is the age he can be baptized. Okay, excuse me, sir. Um, let's, uh, let's take, for example, a child that is five years, let's say between five to seven years, I think we say that, chi that, that child sometimes might not be able to, con uh, to confess at that very time to say this is the good or the, the bad. So if such a child dies, what happens at that very point? The blood of Jesus Christ is taking care of him. Thank you. Yes? Any other sister? You, yes? Next person. Praise God. Pastor, I firstly want to thank you for your invaluable in-depth teaching. Sir? Thank you. Can baptism take one to hef heaven? Baptism. Uh, is it a sure ticket to heaven? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I will answer you potentially yes. The truth is this. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen. If you are going to go home today, if you stand here without moving, will you ever get home? No, sir. Eh? No, sir. Answer, let them hear you. Answer, microphone, let them hear you. No, sir. Eh? No, sir. If you are going to go home now, you will start with a step in the right direction. direction. Water baptism is the next step you take after repentance. So that's why I say potentially yes. Because water baptism is a process of justification. Three works of grace. God is perfected in the number three. Three is God's number for perfection. And he perfected our redemption by three works of grace. Hallelujah. Number Amen. one, he calls you. Can we open Bible? Romans chapter 8. Open your. Somebody open. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Okay, give him. He's there. Romans 8, 29. Yes. Remember that 28 says all things work together for good. 
to them who are the called and those who are who love God and those who are the called according to his purpose. For then, whom uh -huh. he foreknew. Yes. He also predestined uh -huh. to be conformed to the image of his son. That uh -huh. he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Okay. Go on. Moreover. Yes. Whom he predestined. This he also called. Whom Re he called. Remember now. Okay, go ahead. Whom who he called. These he also justified. They are those that he justified. Uh -huh. And whom he justified. Yes. These he also glorified. Them he also glorified. glorified. When Jesus Christ calls you, he justifies you. The process of justification is the process whereby the sin that separated man from God is removed so that we have access to him. You stand before him as if you have never sinned before. Yet, the sin nature is still in you. And no man has the ability to live a life pleasing before God when you are in this flesh. Water baptism removes the guilt of sin that was upon every one of us and positions us for God to deal with the sin nature in us. So, he, those that he called, remember, the call of God. I preached that message several times here. If it is God, there are two types of call. There is a call for God to call you because he wants to use you. But there is also the call that he call you so that, you know, to adopt you as his son and take you to heaven and clean this world and bring us to fulfill the purpose of creating Adam and Eve on earth. So, when God calls you for the purpose of salvation, for the purpose of redemption, this is the process he does. He removes that sin through the process of justification, water baptism, after you have repented. Because some people go for water baptism without repentance. It is wrong baptism. Even if you do it in bread assembly ten times. If you have not repented, you have wasted your time. Now, then, God now, we now glorify you. Glorification is the process where God changes a sinner to a saint by the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And that's why the Bible says in Romans 8 verse 9, if you have not the spirit of Christ, you are none of his. So, water baptism, yes, is the first step to heaven. Thank you, sir. God sir, bless you. is there any possibility of unbaptized fellows making heaven? Lie, lie. Because no sinner will go to heaven. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello. Yes. Praise the Lord, church. God bless you, pastor. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Praise the Lord. My question goes like this. No more, please. These people start and say, no, what we pray. Um, we are talking about eating in the dream. Mine is whether eating in the dream or demon in the dream. I want to know and confirm. Whether? My... I don't know whether it is eating in the dream or demon in the dream. Can I want to, I want to know to more about it. When, whether it is demon in the dream or eating in the dream, because by two, two between two to two, two, two a.m. to two thirty, I will, I will, I will be somewhere. I will not know, unknown to me. I will be vomiting blood. I will vomit enough blood in the spirit. And is it physical or in the spirit? In the dream, in the, in the, when I'm asleep. When you wake up, do you see the blood? I will see the blood. Will I will even blood. vomit it. I will see it from dream to the reality. And that as, as making my right hand to be damaged. This I have one. told you already earlier on. I said the evidence that that food you are eating in the dream is evil is that when you wake up it creates a problem that is evidence it is an evil food it's a poison they are putting in your system but mine is not food i will uh, they say i will be rolling like a demon read demon that is mm -hmm. what they said uh, i will not know not to no, no be dream no be eating dream now 
So I don't know. You don't chop anything for dream now. I, Your own is you are being attacked. You need deliverance. You know, no be no be my eating. right hand has damaged. Your right hand. You just need deliverance. Where do you worship? I worship at uh, Living Faith. Living Faith. Yeah. Winners Chapel. Yes, sir. You are a winner already. Yes, sir. You are a winner. Don't be afraid. You are a winner. Yes, sir. Eh? Are you not a winner? I'm a winner. Uh -huh. I believe in God. Yes. Have you been baptized? No, when I... Grew. So how will you win if you have not been baptized? <laughs> Did you hear my teaching today? Yes, sir. You can never win until you have been baptized correctly. No matter how anointed your Jew is. Amen. Amen. Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. Go and be baptized. Come here next Tuesday. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. I, I beg you. God directed you here for a purpose. Yes, Nobody comes to this church by accident. Yes. I believe. God has ordained this place to deliver you. I believe. Eh? Yes, sir. If this thing goes, will you know? Yes. So your hand is paining you now? I can't raise it up. You can't raise it up. Yes, so if you raise it up now, will you come back here and baptize on Tuesday? Yes. Somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Open John chapter 1. Who is with the Bible there? John chapter 1, verse 11 and verse 12. And he came unto his own. Yes. And his own received him not. Yes. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Uh -huh. Even to them that believe on that his is name. The, that's the one I'm looking for. Even what? To them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe on his name. Do you believe in the name of Jesus? Yes, I believe. You are saying something. Yes. Do you believe in the name of Jesus? Yes, I believe because when I went to the hospital, they said there is fracture and this place has been removed, this joint. But I told them that I believe in God that my harm cannot be removed because I cannot have a fracture. There is power in the name. That name. There is power in the name. There is healing in the name. There is deliverance in the name. Yes, Lord. Jesus.